Hey guys, Richard here with the Geeks Retro, and today we're going to show you how to replace the cam angle sensor on an 05 Dodge Caravan with a 3.3 liter V6. Simple, very, very simple to do, but stay tuned, and we're, I'm going to show you step by step how to do this, what tools you're going to need, and things to look forward to after it's all done. All right, we are back, and on the wonderful, lovely side of this 3.3 liter, if you look down here, you can actually see... There's a 10 millimeter bolt. You don't have to take it all the way out. Um, and it's just a single bolt that holds in your cam sensor. We've already replaced this cam sensor before, so that's the reason why this one looks a little oiled up. Uh, there will be oil on it, henceforth the rubber ring to prevent any oil seeping out. Aside from that, yeah, you gotta make sure it sits down in there and it's in there flush. And once you get it in there all the way, uh, it should perform per, uh, perfectly fine. What this does is it actually reads the position of where the cam is and lets the motor know that the vehicle is still in time. So, you know, with having this, it's very simple. It was a very easy uninstall. As you can see, I removed the air box. I moved the breather. It was a, I used the flat tip on the, the nose itself. And then one 10, 10 millimeter bolt down here on the main firewall here. Um, and then on the this here plugs into that. This plug here, uh, very simple plug plugs into the bottom of the uh, air tube. It actually has the mass airflow sensor attached to it and or, and, a, and or the temp sensor. And then this is the plug that actually plugs into the camshaft position sensor. Once you unplug the two, everything falls, pops right out. It's pretty simple to get in there. It is a 10 millimeter. So if you have a wrench, it'd be a lot easier or a shallow well 10 millimeter. Aside from that, once you put this new piece in, it, like I said, it just slides in directly like this into the block. Once it slides in there, plug it back in, hook it all back up, and you're good to go. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, any of the other questions or comments, uh, feel free to hit us up. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this back in, and you guys have a wonderful day. All right, guys, got the, the camshaft position sensor in there. Make sure whenever you press it down in there, you, you hear it. At, like my, When I did it, I heard it click twice. And it just verifies, and you'll know that it's all the way in because whenever you look where the 10 millimeter bolt is, uh, there won't be any metal showing where the bolt will actually press against the sensor itself to hold it into place. And then make sure you hook everything back up, take a first spin. If your service light stays on, don't forget to take that. I mean, you can take that over to AutoZone and ask them to reset the, the your PCM with, with using an OB2, OBD2 scanner. They say, and it's free. That's the great thing about it. If there's anything you'd like for, to see from us, make sure you hit us up here on YouTube and leave a comment. Or if you want, you can check us out at uh, facebook.com forward slash the Geeks of Retro. Or you can sh also shoot me an email at the Geeks Retro at gmail.com. Thanks again so much for watching. And if you have any other comments or any ideas, vehicles that you'd like to see me work on, make sure you shoot me a message and I'll gladly see what I can do about that. Thanks again for watching.